Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. I know my surroundings may look a little different. If you don't know by now, Bunky and I are quarantining at the beach for a little bit, so that is where we are, but we decided, of course, we are still gonna be social distancing and cooking all of our meals inside, except for, of course, a few trips to Hamburger Joe's for takeout. I mean, hello, we have to go there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this week's meals. I feel like we made some super delicious, yummy food. So you guys will have to tag me if you make any of these and let me know which recipe is your favorite. If you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see more What's For Dinners, but let's go ahead and get cooking. Bunky is having some shrimp tacos. We have just this bowl of like olive oil, tons of fresh garlic. Um, I don't know what kind of peppers these are. I think it's just called a red chili. Okay, a red chili. And then we have um, some cumin, paprika, something else in there, I can't remember. Ginger. Oh, and honey. So those are like um, marinating. And, and then in here, we just have like this teeny tiny little food processor. And I have a little bit of olive oil, garlic, roasted red pepper, sour cream, and Lime juice. Lime juice. And I'm going to just blend this up and then that's gonna be like the sauce for Bunky's shrimp tacos. And then we're also making some bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. And then I'm gonna have a steak and we're gonna do it all on the flat top. So we are so excited and just like, can't wait to enjoy just sitting outside and cooking on our new grill. Just wanted to show you guys really fast the easiest way to make jalapeno poppers ever. I just literally took the jalapeno popper, cut off the top, and then split it down the middle and took out like all of the seeds and ribs. And then I just have cheese sticks here that I'm gonna half and then put each half into the jalapenos. And then because we have the center cut bacon, it's already a lot shorter than your regular bacon. So one piece is like perfect for wrapping it up. And then we'll just throw them on the grill and they turn out so yummy. Bunky and I actually were not going to film this night just because sometimes we like cooking dinner, just us without a camera, but because this dinner was so yummy, I decided to film certain parts of it. So I don't have every single thing filmed, but enough for you guys to at least enjoy. So I wanted to include it into this video, but y'all, this was one of my favorite dinners ever. I decided to try out grilling my steak on the flat top and I have to tell you, I don't think I can ever go back to a normal grill ever again. It gave the outside the most amazing crust and then of course it was so tender and juicy on the inside. Oh my gosh, one of the best steaks I've ever had. It kind of reminds me of going to like a Japanese restaurant and now I'm so excited to make hibachi on this grill. I also did my Brussels sprouts on them and then of course like I told you guys our little jalapeno poppers and it all turned out so good. So now that I've got the Brussels sprouts out of the way, we're going to go ahead and put Bunky's shrimp on the grill. They don't take as long to cook so we wanted to wait until the very end to cook those but y'all I cannot tell you how good this dinner was Bunky actually told me that these shrimp tacos were the best he has ever had. He told me he could eat those every single night and never get tired of them. We made a little slaw to go on top and then he said that this sauce that I made with the roasted red peppers was the best part. Alright y'all, so tonight for dinner we are actually going to have these zucchini boat tacos. We thought that sounded really good and kind of a different spin on tacos. Also a little bit healthier and they seem very simple to make. So I'm only going to use about two of these zucchinis. We're actually going to use the other two in a different recipe this week. I'm going to half them and then kind of hollow out the inside to have like a little zucchini boat. I'm going to go ahead and brown up my hamburger meat, add my taco seasoning just like normal, and then we'll kind of layer that in here, top them with cheese, and then bake them in the oven. I am going to bake these for just a little bit before I top them to kind of let them go ahead and get a little bit softer um, through the center, and then we'll bake them again once our hamburger meat is in there. And I think Bunky may even add some tomato and onions to his, so it sounds super good. So let's go ahead and get cooking. Okay, 
so to cut my zucchini I'm just gonna chop off the end here and then basically just split it down the center and then I'll just take a spoon and kind of hollow out this center And I tried to get zucchinis that were like a little bit fatter, that way they'd have like more room inside of them, but these hollowed out perfectly. I went ahead and lined my sheet pan with tin foil just for easy cleanup. And then I'm just gonna gently spray this with Pam just to make sure my zucchini does not stick. Lay my zucchinis down and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in them just to kind of season them and then let them roast. I've had the oven preheating to 375. This oven is very finicky and you basically can't go higher than that. I don't know what it is, it's just kind of crazy. So 375 and then I'll let them cook for just a few minutes before we put our filling in there. Thank you, Bunky, my little sous chef. <laughs> um, and then I'll put them back in to let the cheese melt. Thank you, B. Mm-hmm. We go on top? Yep. Oh my god, it's hot in there. Yeah, Ooh. that thing says 375, but it's really like 400. Yeah. Okay, so Bumpy has his tomato right here and then also his onion, and he's gonna slice those up like super finely and then toss it in some lime juice, salt and pepper, um, and then kind of use that as like a little pico on top of his boat. And I think my zucchini is just about ready to come out and then we'll start layering it. So we baked our zucchini for about 15 minutes before pulling them out and putting our taco mixture in them. I will say that is definitely a step that you do not want to skip. Um, I think we could have even left ours in there for about 20 minutes because you do want to make sure that it is soft all the way through but I cannot tell you how good these were. Bunky has told me multiple times since we made them that he cannot wait to make these again. They were so good. Okay, so I've got my little boats made. They are topped with cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them back in the oven and let this cheese melt, and then they will be all done. Bunky is still working on his tomato and onion. He's just gonna top that later um, after they get done. And then we have plenty of meat left over for lunch this week, so I'm so excited. It's actually made tons. Last thing before we dig into these yummy zucchini boats is Bunky's Pico, which we just did some salt and pepper over the tomato and onion, and then lots of fresh lime juice. So simple, and Bunky said it was so tasty. So um, that is it. That is how simple all this was. It didn't take any time at all, and I definitely recommend them if you've never had them before. And of course, a side of sour cream is always a must. Okay, so there you have it. There is Bunkies, and then here is mine. You guys know I love a little hot sauce with mine, and I cannot wait to try these, and I hope that they are as amazing as they look and smell, because such a great way to have tacos, but a little bit healthier. So that is what's for dinner tonight. So it's actually about lunchtime right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken in a marinade and let it kind of sit for a few hours. That way, whenever we make dinner tonight, it will be nice and flavorful and super yummy. We're gonna be making some barbecue chicken and nachos we love making these they're so simple and they're so good so i have my chicken right here i'm gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper on there a little bit of garlic powder and then i'll put them in the bag and add some sweet baby rays barbecue sauce and a little bit of hot sauce together and let those just kind of sit until we are ready for dinner tonight
All right, y'all, so Funky and I just got back from taking a walk on the beach, so we are about to go ahead and start dinner. I have the barbecue chicken that I marinated earlier laying out, but he's gonna go turn on the grill so that we can go ahead and grill that, and then I'll just easily assemble our nachos. This is not gonna take any time at all, and it's literally one of our favorite meals. I think it's Mr. Funky's like favorite. Um, and then I'm also gonna make like a little, kind of like a pico. Basically what I did for the taco um, zucchini boats, we're gonna do some tomato and onion, lime juice, garlic, and kind of let that all set up and then put it on bunky side of the nachos. So anyways, I'm gonna flip you guys around and we're gonna get started cooking. Okay, that went way better than I thought it was going to. Um, so like I was saying, I just cut up the tomatoes and onion just like we did for the zucchini boats, but added in garlic and jalapenos this time. So, so much more flavor. And then of course, lots of fresh lime juice. And you'll see here in a second, I do add in just a little bit of salsa and I'll explain why. Okay, so I've got it all in my bowl and we actually don't have any cilantro, which is the only thing Bunky is really missing. So because we do have this salsa, I'm just going to add like one spoonful of this into our little pico mixture. That way you can kind of give it some of this flavor and hopefully a little bit of the cilantro that's in here will come through in this as well. So I'm going to um, add that and then mix this together and then I'll go out to the grill and see how the chicken's coming along. <laughs> um, as I was walking over here, I could smell the chicken and it smelled so good. Yeah? Yeah. It's almost done. Wanna take a peek? Yeah. No, well, I got, I'm about to give it a turn. Okay. Ooh! Hang on. It's so windy though. Kind of. It's looking good. Okay, so I've got my chips laid out here and then I have the oven preheating to 370. I think I told you guys when we made the tacos, but this oven, basically you just have to leave it at that temperature. And then the chicken is all cooked to have it cut up. I have Bunky's little pico. I did um, drain and rinse these black beans. I saved some chicken so that I can make a salad tomorrow for lunch. And then we have just a little bit of this Fiesta blend cheese left, um, which is probably not enough. So then I'm gonna just add some sharp cheddar as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling our nachos, get them in the oven, and then they'll be ready. One step that I almost forgot to tell y'all is I always add a little bit more barbecue sauce, usually on top of the chicken, and then I'll do it once more on top of the cheese, just a little bit, because I do want to have that barbecue flavor in every single bite, considering these are barbecue chicken nachos. And I also wanted to let y'all know, Mr. B, this is like one of his favorite dinners ever, and he told me this was the best they have ever been. He said that pico on top was incredible, and he was raving over and over about these the entire night. Okay, so there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven, and then all we'll have to do is pretty much melt, so it shouldn't take but about 10 minutes. Okay, and about 10 minutes later, there you have it. Barbecue chicken nachos. These not look so good. And if you like scallions or cilantro, you can sprinkle that on top. Mm, I'm about to dig in. So it is almost dinner time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken kind of marinating. And tonight we're gonna have kind of like a chipotle chicken with some zucchini and squash. I thought that sounded really good and I've never made it before so hopefully it turns out well. I just kind of concocted this in my head. So I have my blender out here. I'm going to add in a couple of these chipotle peppers. I just found this little jar at Walmart and then I'm going to put fresh lime juice, lots of fresh garlic, a little bit of honey, of course some salt and pepper and then I'll drizzle just a little bit of olive oil. Let this chicken kind of sit in that for a little bit and then we're going to go put it on the grill. Okay so I already smell these chipotles and it looks like they are diced. I'm just going to throw in a couple of tablespoons of these we don't have that much chicken so I think three tablespoons will be plenty what do you think B sounds about right we like lots of garlic so I'm doing three medium-sized cloves of garlic one clove of garlic to one <laughs> tablespoon yeah, that, oh yeah I like it okay lots of fresh lime juice Can we add in a little bit of honey? Don't be stingy with the honey, girl. I think that's good. All right. And then some salt and pepper. More pepper than salt. Yeah, lots of pepper. 
Unfortunately, we don't have our uh, usual Blender. cooking stuff because yeah. that is a huge blender to like nothing. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, let's blend this up. The anchos. What's that? The uh, peppers? Oh, the chipotle peppers. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think they're called ancho chilies. This blender, y'all, is not very good at all, so we're kind of struggling with a few <laughs> chunks. Babe, I need a spatula. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. Bunky said it tastes delicious, but he wants to add in a splash of orange juice. If y'all been around, you know Bunky loves to add some orange juice something. That's good! It looks like a snitch. <laughs> So I'm gonna pop this back in the refrigerator, let it marinate for a little bit, and then we will go pop it on the grill. So we are just about ready to start grilling our chicken. I have some squash and zucchini here, and I'm just gonna chop these up into like bite-sized pieces. I'll put them in some aluminum foil with olive oil, garlic powder, and then some salt and pepper, and then just let those kind of cook on the grill with the chicken. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take off the husk on this corn, and then put those in tin foil. I'm gonna paint them with a little bit of mayo. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I actually saw Paula Dean doing this and she said it's amazing because um, it can get up to a higher temperature than butter and then it still gives it all that flavor and then I'll put some salt and pepper and garlic powder on this as well put those on the grill so everything tonight is gonna be on the grill and I cannot wait to eat this I think it's gonna be so yummy Are y'all this way too? I feel like once it gets a little bit warmer outside, I want to make every single meal on the grill. It is like one of my favorite things about spring and summer. I love the smell of being outside, sitting by the grill. Like that is just one of my favorite, favorite things. And these veggies turned out so good and they were so simple. So I'm definitely going to be using this technique more often. And I also want to let you guys know, I did add a little bit of Italian seasoning as well as the salt, pepper, and garlic powder but Bunky had a great idea and he said next time we should do salt pepper garlic powder and Parmesan and I was like oh my gosh yes that sounds so good so I got all of my husk and silk off of my corn I'm still trying to pull a few of these silks off um but like I told you guys, I saw Paula Dean using mayo instead of butter. So I'm going to do the exact same thing and just kind of spread that mayo all around it. Add some salt and pepper and garlic powder. And then these will be ready. I have my zucchini and squash ready. Chicken is over here sitting out. And then I'm going to take all of this out to Bunky. He is at the grill getting it warmed up. So we will be ready to start cooking. We wish the pool was open. Oh my gosh, look how still it is. I know, it would be so nice, but it's still closed. Look at that surface. So we're just waiting patiently. Does that not look good? It's so pretty. I cannot wait for it to open. Yeah. It's such a pretty night too. It was storming earlier and now it's like absolutely beautiful. I wish y'all could see the sky better, but let's see if I can turn it down. It's so pretty. Okay, we are back from the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and open all this up and see how it looks. Woo, Bunky, this looks so good. It smells so good. The one who wraps the foil should be the one who unwraps the foil. <laughs> oh my Ooh. goodness gracious. Got a, little, got a little color on there, Bunk. Looks so good. Mm. This was hands down some of the best chicken I have ever had. You guys have to try that marinade. Every single bite, Bunky and I were dying over how delicious it was. You're going in for it? Well, I was trying to. 
Oh yeah. Look at that. Take a bite. Is it super spicy? I think it's gonna be very spicy. Mm -mm. It's good. That's real good. It's really good. Yay! That's real good. Y'all, I'm so excited to eat. It's kind of late tonight. We're having a late dinner. But everything turned out so good. And any night that I can cook all my food on the grill, I'm a happy girl because that means easy cleanup. Okay, y'all. I just tried the corn and it is so good. So this entire meal is incredible. Like, I cannot get over the flavor. And I love some grilled corn on the cob. That's like one of my favorite things ever. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed it and got lots of great meal inspo. Be sure to tag me in your pictures and leave me a comment and let me know which meal or recipe you are most excited to try. I love you guys so very much. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.